I recently had an opportunity to do a test and review of this new Fobo Bike 2 TPMS system. Now I tried out the Fobo TPMS uh, two or three years ago when it first came out and uh, was pretty impressed. Uh, that was when I had my 2012 Goldwing and as you know there's very limited TPMS on the uh, that model of Goldwing. The 2018 has a little more sophisticated system uh, but this Fobo Bike 2 has an even more advanced system uh, for those of you that have a 2018 Plus Goldwing. Now, when we open up the box, we're going to see what comes in this kit. I should mention uh, the packaging is very nice. Uh, the first thing you notice is a quick start guide, kind of an instruction manual. We'll cover that in a little bit. And then you see the two TPMS sensors. Now these wireless sensors basically uh, install where your valve stem caps are. Uh, there's also another little box inside with a bunch of other accessories. Now inside this box we've got a couple of or several of these little lock nuts. This allows you to install the TPMS sensors and keep them locked down so that nobody can steal them. There's also a couple of little wrenches that come with it. Uh, there's even a couple of extra batteries uh, that they give you. I'm not sure what the battery life is on these TPMS sensors. Here you see the little wrenches that you use to lock down those lock nuts. And there's even a couple of uh, uh, valve installations where you can install these inside your wheel if you choose to. The sensors themselves are much smaller than I remember the Fobo sensors to be in the past. They're about the diameter of a penny and you can easily unscrew the cap to get access to the battery uh, for when it becomes time to change the battery. You'll notice also a little red rubber o-ring to keep these uh, waterproof, to keep moisture out. So it looks like it's very easy to replace the batteries in these. The quick start guide is very well written. It's very easy to understand installation is actually pretty simple. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to throw these sensors onto my 2018 Goldwing just so we can see how this works. Now it's very simple to install. You basically just remove your valve stem cap and you screw these on in place of it. Now you'll need to download the app for your uh, cell phone for the Fobo app. And once you install the sensor on the tire, then it's just a matter of uh, using the app to recognize the sensor, the correct sensor for the correct tire. Hey everybody, Cruise Man here. I just wanted to take a second to show you uh, a product I'm testing out. Um, this is the uh, Fobo uh, TPMS. Now basically, uh, this is a wireless TPMS system. Uh, replaces the little cap on your uh, valve stem and it communicates electronically to your smartphone. Now I tested out the original Fobo a couple years ago, maybe a little longer than that. And uh, it was okay, it was nice, but of course I had TPMS on my 2012 Goldwing. And of course we have TPMS built into the 2018 Goldwing as well. But what I like about this Fobo system, and I'm gonna show you this live right now, is I'm just now walking up to the bike. And I've got my smartphone on, I've got the Fobo app connected or turned on or opened in my smartphone and you'll notice I've got two different uh, settings here I've got one for the Goldwing one for the Bush Tech because I'm gonna put a couple of these on my Bush Tech trailer so I can monitor uh, my TPMS but watch this the bike is not running I have not ridden the bike yet but I can click here and I can see my tire pressure cold before I ride off. With the Goldwing GPS I have to go probably a half a block to a block before I can see my tire pressure. So this lets me check my tire pressure cold so I know before I leave if I need to fill up uh, with some air in the tires. Also it shows me the temperature in each tire and of course you can set what you consider to be your, uh, your, your standard uh, uh, PSI and then if it's out of range it will alert you uh, through the smartphone apps. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to go throw a couple of these sensors on my Bush Tech trailer and we'll check that out as well. 
Okay, now we're going to install the the right sensor. Basically, we have to get down here next to the um, the little sensor cap, click proceed, and it will recognize that sensor. Hopefully, okay. It says we need to remove it for eight seconds and then reinstall it. Let's try that. Okay, you can see there it's got the right tire. It recognized. Now we're going to go do the left tire. You basically hold your cell phone right next to the sensor that you're trying to program and it takes, you know, maybe 8 to 15 seconds for it to recognize the sensor. And now I'm able to see my trailer tire pressure at a glance using the Fobo app. Very cool. So if you have a previous generation Goldwing, like a 2012 or any previous generation uh, that has TPMS from Honda, it's pretty much just a light that tells you when one of your tires is low. It doesn't even tell you which tire. So this Fobo system would be a great addition to one of those motorcycles. And I think even if you have a 2018 Goldwing, it's a nice addition too because I can tell what the tire pressure is before I start moving. So I think it's a huge plus and I'll definitely be using them on my Bush Tech trailer when I travel. So um, I'm going to put a link in the description down below where you can order these Fobo TPMS sensors on Amazon.com. And don't forget if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click on that little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when I come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.